10 races and beautiful conditions. 1,200 the first. Fox Chunga drawn the inside gate with an attendant. They're off now. And from out wide, Tiger Lad jumped awkwardly, which inconvenienced Jimson, the Dragon, Supreme Plus, and Wonder Express. Flying Monkey first out of the machine, going forward as Multi Max to join the leader, and the Abraxas is third. One away fourth as Fox Chunga in line of three with I'm the Conquest three wide and Money More the centre. A length and a half to Red Brick Fighter. It's in between horses with Tiger Lad three wide. There's no speed on and they jam up a bit. Lightning Missile fourth last from Supreme Plus Jimson the Dragon and two lengths to Wonder Express. 600 metres left to go. Multimax has had a good run in the lead. Three quarters on the Abraxas and up there three wide as I'm the Conquest. Next is Flying Monkey fourth from Red Brick Fighter getting to the outside Tiger Lad. The widest then is Wonder Express from the back and Fox Chung is down on the rail. The Abraxas has pounced on the lead. Put half a length on Multi Max. Two lengths away. Fox Chung are getting out. Then Flying Monkey. The Abraxas leads. Multi Max is not done with. It's in for a fight here Multi Max. It's lifting. The Abraxas ahead away. Fox Chung a third. Multi Max just in front. Multi Max. Victor Wong's done it in front again. Multimax has beaten the Abraxas and third home Fox Chunga. Next to go past is Red Brick Fighter, followed by Flying Monkey, Jimson the Dragon, Supreme Plus, Money More, Lightning Missile, Wonder Express and Tiger Lad. And I'm the Conquest has been eased right down. Victor Wong on a front runner again. Number seven, Multimax, trained by Peter Ho, was clearly headed by the Abraxas and the inside horse has come back to win. Fox Junger will be third. Red Brick Fighter rounding up the top four. The winner by Fairy Tree makes it eight from 78 and has fought strongly on the inside. Set now. Stunner holds them, racing. Jump well from the inside to Winston's lad, but is going to get crossed as happily friends is keen to get forward, but so are a few others. Colonel's out very wide. Brave Baby through the centre and hard promise between them. Happily friends is now fourth inside of Beluga and one and a half to True Legend Winston's lad. Three quarters two for fun's sake. And then came Curling Luxury. Next is Taylor Made. Three links away to double take and two links to Starlight. They've run this harder than the first. And the leader is Colonel by three quarters over hard promise brave babies a length away third beluga lurking three quarters back fourth from happily friends and true legend coming up three wide a length away next winston's lad getting away from the fence but ridden up and next to turn for home then is for fun's sake from starlight out very wide 200 meters to go colonel the inside beluga called upon now the favorite true legend outside of the three and then came happily friends and winston's lad beluga's just over Overhauled Colonel. True Legend is next. The favourites in front. Beluga over Colonel and True Legend. And that is the trifecta. It is Beluga first. Colonel second. True Legend third. Winston's lad. Happily friends next to in from Curling Luxury. And then came Taylor Made. Starlight next in from Double Take. For fun's sake. Brave Baby and Hard Promise the last two past the judge. Favourite wins. Not by a big margin. Always look to be doing best. Number five, Beluga. Zach Purton and David Hall. Eight run second, that's Colonel Grant Van Niekirk and Ricky Yu. And seven, a true legend. Joe Marira and Frankie Law in third spot. Second start, ridden beautifully just off the pace. They did back it off for a furlong between about the eight and the 600 metre mark after running hard early. In the centre of the line, it's been taken off. Pretty edgy Dublin star, they're off. And it jumped really awkwardly. The second favourite missed it by three. Was stirred up just before the gates went back. Zero hedge on the grandstand side's been joined over by Dream Team, who leads early. Sunshine Universe third. Good view. Clarico is up the centre of the track. Then came Extra Fortune from Cool Celeb. Fabulous eight in a line. Also thereabouts two is Fortune Hero. Next is Comfort Life. Here comes Ted. Shuffled up a little bit behind traffic from Dublin Star. Bravery and Power and My Family is last. The leader 
Sierra's dream team. Half a length to put good view Clarico to its inside. A length and a half to zero. Hedge pushed along. That's him, though. He does stick a bit. A length away then is Fabulous 8, followed by Cool Celeb. Dublin Star ran out of room. Comfort Life's nearest to the inside rail. Good view Clarico leads dream team. No run, zero hedge, nor Dublin Star. There is for here comes Ted. Good view Clarico leads. Here comes 10, Dublin Star. That's how they finish. Good view Clarico has beaten. Here comes Ted. Dublin Star pretty unlucky behind them. They were followed across the line then by Comfort Life. My family ran on from Sunshine Universe, Cool Celeb, and then Dream Team, Zero Hedge unlucky from Bravery and Power. Well, back in the race, Fabulous 8 with Fortune Hero and last in Extra Fortune, the late scratching number 12, We the South. 11, Good View Clarico. Zach Purton and Dennis Yip has beaten. Here comes Ted, the 13, Grant Van Niekerk and David Ferraris. And six Dublin star, Joe Marira and Manfred. Man, there's some unlucky runs in this. Dublin star was stirred up just before the gates crashed back. Fourteen hundred metres. Off now. And Notting Hugh stood there, missed it by three lengths. Viva Council from a wide draw was away fast and stoked up near the rail. Olfus and Pauls to raise handy. Treasure Chester's third and wider again as Ka Ying excellent from Juno Park, fifth defence. Next is Lucky Victor. Interstellar one off the rail, three wide best for you. Charity Grand's on the fence and a length away is King Dragon, followed by defining moment Dr Lucky Star. A length and a half Diamond King and last of all is Notting Hugh. Coming off the back, the horse away from the rail. It's Viva Council at the 800. Half a length over Olfus and Pools and two away third is Ka Ying Excellent. A further two lengths to Treasure Chest. Juno you know Park fifth the rail, six off the lead. Three wide lucky Victor. Interstellar worked on the middle. Charity Grand's on the rail following the favourite from King Dragon under a ride to improve. Best for use under pressure. And then came defining moment Dr Lucky Star and Diamond King. The leader is Ka Ying Excellent. Juno you know Park's into the clear now if he's good enough. He's come through between runners. Treasure chest to his outside. King Dragon is next and wider again is Diamond King. It's still Ka Ying. Excellent leading though with 1.50 to go. Juno Park still a neck away. Diamond King and King Dragon late. Ka Ying excellent kicking. Juno Park one last lunge and oh that's close. Ka Ying Excellent was kicking. Juno Park had a late dip and there's nothing in it. King Dragon's there for third in a further photo. Not too far away was Diamond King and Best For You made ground. Then Olfus and Pools, Charity Grand, Dr Lucky Star, Treasure Chest, Defining Moment, Beaver Council, Interstellar, Lucky Victor, Notting Hugh, and this is really close. Has he got him? Oh, maybe. If Juno Parks won this, he's been in front at the line because a stride before, he's behind. A stride after, he's behind. King Dragon's going to run third. What a finish. Car Ying, excellent. Blake Shin's got everything out of the Tony Cruz runner. And they're off. Pretty good start too. Good fit's going to drift out the back and enjoyable success. We'll settle in the last couple as well. Foodie Princess down to the rail to lead over Gala Night between horses. And just racing a bit awkwardly early as Shadow Breaker as Starlit Knight goes up outside the leader. So Starlit Knight and Gala Knight, they share the lead over Foodie Princess. Beautifully placed third the rail. Shadow Breaker fourth, then there's a line of five. Inside out, Crown Avenue. This one's for you. General Dino King's man, Mr. Monty restrained back but is still four wide around Willie Way in exaltation on the rail. A length and a half to enjoyable success. Good fit second last and Hay Run is two lengths away last but under a ride. It's Gala Knight leading. The margins are neck over Starlit Knight and the speed is now slow at the thousand. King's Man three wide, three quarters of a length away third and fourth the inside foodie princess. Fifth the middle is Shadow Breaker and a length away General Dino. Crown Avenue's against the fence from this one's for you in the centre. Mr. Monty's covered ground and in between horses Willie Way from Exaltation. Enjoyable success, a length and a half to good fit hard ridden and three lengths away last is Hay Run.
run up towards the bend. They have 500 metres to go. It's the Knights. Gala in front of Starlet. There's a head between them. Kingsman's under the whip. Third, Foodie Princess in a pocket. Favourite needs to get out. Looking to work out inside of Kingsman from General Dino. Willie Way is next and Crown Avenue looking to shoot the rail. Gala Knight leads. Foodie Princess with 200 metres to go. Is half a length away from Crown Avenue. Then came Willie Way. Foodie Princess. Gala Knight fights the inside. Crown Avenue's a length away. Gala Knight, Foodie Princess kicking strongly. Gala Knight coming back too strongly. Gala Knight beat Foodie Princess. Crown Avenue third. Willie Way ran fourth and this one's for you. Next in enjoyable success. Hay Run beat a stack in after being off the bit the entire way. Exultation, Shadow Breaker. Then Kingsman, Good Fit, Starlet Knight, General Dino and Mr Monty is the last one home. Gala Knight number 10. Derek Lung and John Moore has come back to hold Foodie Princess. Joe Marira and Chris So. The margin's about a half a length, but they got a lot closer than that at the furlong. And four Crown Avenue, Zach Purton and Dennis Ship will be third. Ten, Gala Knight goes back to back after winning at Happy Valley on the 4th of March. Starter has them, Mr. Tony Speechley is on the platform. They're off. Good line away at the 1400 too. And homemade smoothies, beauty spirit, the first three early. Follow me as fourth from everyone's joy racing between horses and very wide as triumphant horse. Homemade soldier and also silver fig were able to push through into the lead pack as well. Unicorn baby's about midfield and after that good start, follow me's drifting back wide around cool team. Tycoon's on the rail, wide as triumphant horse looking to slot in as ultimate glory and Zanjian rocks went through on the inside of it. And good Good for you, a length away last. Smoothies leads and the break's now on. Three quarters on Silver Fig and running third as Beauty Spirit. Homemade as fourth and High Rise Soldier is three quarters of a length away fourth. They were followed next by Everyone's Joy. Out very wide, follow me as covered ground. Unicorn Babies on the rail from Toy Coon and then came Cool Team. Next triumphant horse, Angian Rocks, Ultimate Glory and good for you. Smoothies at the 400 and Silver Fig, they sneak away a bit. Two lengths over High Rise Soldier. Next then is Beauty Spirit, followed by Everyone's Joy. Smoothie's the leader. Silver Fig dropped off. High Rise Soldier. Everyone's Joy is next from Unicorn Baby. Smoothie's is still in front over High Rise Soldier. Everyone's Joy. And through the middle, Tycoon. Smoothie's still in front. And Smoothie's won it. Smoothie's beat High Rise Soldier. Everyone's Joy third. Then came Ultimate Glory running on. Unicorn Baby not far away from Triumphant Horse. Next to run past is Beauty Spirit from Toy Coon. Good for you. Zenjian rocks and cool team. Follow me after a tough trip beat. Two in. Homemade and also Silver Fig. Smoothies clinging on, clinging on. Wins it half ahead. Over nine, a high rise soldier. And ten, everyone's joy. Eight's going to run fourth. Derek Long goes race to race. Won the previous on gala night. This one for Danny Shum. High rise a soldier. Vincent Ho and Francis Loy has cut the margin. Sixteen fifty, the second of two all weather races at Shard Tin on this Saturday afternoon. They're ready to go. Racing now. And from out wide, jumping awkwardly racing, Luck is going to end up in the back two or three. And Raging Blitzkrieg joined up front by California Argent. Clear Choice is third, and Lau and Lightman is fourth the rail. Red Elise trapped three wide, and Right Choice is four wide from Mongolian King. Out there, three wide is Travel first from Smiling City, and Bear Slam has three behind him, the favourite. They are racing Luck, also in Folding and Volpino. Galloping to the back, 11.50 to go, 27.89 the second. The standard 27.9, so they're just about bang on. California Argent gets their head up but leads a length on Red Elise, one off second. Raging Blitzkrieg having a beautiful run, third and fourth is clear choice. Lau Enlightenment's on the rail and three wide is right choice having no luck. Mongolian King is in the centre and Red Elise down on the rail. Three wide is travel first and racing between horses is Smiling City from Bear Slam. Third last the favourite and about ten lengths off the lead joined on the outside. 
outside by Racing Lux are the last two now enfolding in Volpino. 500 metres left to go. California Argent leads a length over Lone Eagle, just niggled at running second. Third next to the inside is Raging Blitzkrieg. A length away fourth then is Clear Choice, followed then by Mongolian King and Lao Enlightenment. The leader is still California Argent. Raging Blitzkrieg though, off its heels. Two lengths away, Lone Eagle and Clear Choice. Raging Blitzkrieg wanting to lay in a bit, straightened up, has the better of California Argent. Mongolian King's there for third with Clear Choice, but Raging Blitzkrieg too good. Mongolian King has nabbed second at the line. California Argent got run over the top of. It's in a photo for third with Red Elise, Clear Choice running on, and Right Choice got going again. It looked gone at the top of the straight Right Choice from Lone Eagle Smiling City, and then travel first. Next in enfolding Bear Slam, never in it from racing like Volpino and Lau Enlightenment. The winner, Raging Blitzkrieg, number two, Chad Schofield and John Size is going to beat Mongolian King, who's come through in the centre. California Argent will just hold third over clear choice. It nearly looked the winner at the 250, California Argent. Grabbed by Raging Blitzkrieg. Two point eight the favourite. Pressure ship all clear given. Ready for the class one, they're off. And Ka Ying Star from out wide began well. Encouraging to its out is also going forward and ridden hard to try and cross the second fave. Good standing finds the rail third and Dark Dream is three wide fourth with time to celebrate fifth. Three quarters to Fat Turtle and a length and a half to Simply Brilliant, a further length and a half to Precious Ship. It's on the inside of Fast Most Furious. Three lengths to Flying Thunder and last of all is Harmony Victory. The leader is encouraging and there is no speed on. Ka Ying Star's and Echo Way and three wide is Dark Dream who's just about pulled itself up outside the leaders. Good standing fourth the rail and a half a length to time to celebrate. Fat Turtles next to the inside of Simply Brilliant and two lengths to Precious Ship. A neck to Fast Most Furious and the last two Flying Thunder and Harmony Victory. It's encouraging who's had a beautiful run and gallops down the side with the ears pricked by three quarters. Three wide is Dark Dream the centre is Ka Ying Star a length and a half time to celebrate Celebrate. Fifth, the inside, good standing. Then simply brilliant, Fat Turtle. Precious ships about eight lengths off the lead, looking to work out inside of Fast Most Furious from Harmony Victory. Encouraging is the leader. Three quarters over Ka Ying Star, leader still kicking. Time to celebrate into the clear. Simply brilliant runs on. Fat Turtle comes through the middle. Precious ship and Fast Most Furious wider out. Encouraging still leads. Time to celebrate. Harmony Victory from near enough to last and simply brilliant. Three way go they hit it simply brilliant simply brilliant from either harmony victory or precious ship encouraging's not far away either then fat turtle what a finish time to celebrate car ying star fast most furious flying thunder good standing and dark dream simply brilliant it's been a day for derek lung will beat harmony victory number three and third is either encouraging, Fat Turtle or Precious Ship. That's three for Derek. He's had a massive afternoon. <clears throat> All said. They're off now. And Valiant Dream from the inside began fast. Car Ying Legends being ridden hard to go with it. Goko from out wide goes forward two and Unique Treasure three quarters of a length away fourth early. Next, Ella Gear and three wide Fantasy with Ballistic King in the middle. A length away is Good Beauty from Transcendent King's Horn and last of all is Uga Chaka. 800 metres left to go and Goko down to the rail by a length and a half on Valiant Dream. Half a length away third is Car Ying Legend and Unique Treasure is two lengths away fourth around LA gear three wide fantasy the middle is ballistic king good beauties to their inner two links away transcendent from king's horn and last is uga chaka 425 meters to go goko is the leader valiant dream comes out for a look and car ying legend joins in strongly next is unique treasure good beauty looking for some room LA gears badly held up car ying legend leads valiant dream ballistic king starting to come through the center unique treasure transcendent 
and out we rewind from the back as Fantasy Transcendent Ballistic King. They settle down that pair and Transcendent. Transcendent wins from Fantasy, who's probably knocked Ballistic King out of second. Big, big run. Fantasy was three wide the trip. Unique treasure next from Good Beauty Valley and Dream. Ella Gear, well, it was desperate for room at the 200 metres and not sure it ever came from Car Ying Legend Uga Chaka. Next in is King's Horn and Goko, the last one in. That is race nine. Two on a photo. Transcendent. Zach Purton. Three for the day for Zach. This one for Tony Cruz. Gee, fantasy's been big. Never closer than three to the rail and might have knocked Ballistic King out of second at the line. They're in the hands of starter, Mr. Tony Speechley. Racing in the last at Chart 10 and from the inside gate, Private Rocket was the first away. He's got some company now, though, as Mighty Giant is between horses and three up as Craig Starr. Hello Beauty is four wide to fourth from Pickin and Beauty Icon a length away next on the rail. Three quarters to the drive and one and a half even keel around Kieram. Fearless Fire is next, one and a half to Money Back, Hang's decision. Two links to Amazing Chocolate and Mongolian Legend is last. 900 to go and it's the big white nose of Mighty Giant the favourite. Three quarters on Craig Star running second, the speed buttons off. Third the inside as Private Rocket and running fourth. Hello Beauty was able to slot, slot in one off the rail. A length away next is Beauty Icon from Pickin. Fearless Fire three wide just improving a touch from Kieram on the rail. Next is the drive from Even Keel. Money back, Hang's decision, amazing chocolate and Mongolian legend. In the straight 400 metres left to go. Mighty Giant leads by three quarters. Craig Star sticks on a bit. Private Rockets in a pocket. Next then is Hello Beauty from Beauty Icon and Pickin. Mighty Giant, 200 metres to run leads. Private Rockets out now if it's good enough. Next then is Hello Beauty. Pickin and Beauty Icon. Mighty Giant is the leader. 100 metres to go. It's out by a length and a half. Private Rocket, Pickin and Beauty Icon for the third. There's four for Zach. Favourite wins. Mighty Giant won the last and beat home. Private Rocket. And third is either Beauty Icon or Pickin. Then Craig Star. Money back. Hello, beauty. Followed in by amazing chocolate Kiram. And then came Mongolian legend, the drive, Heng's decision, even keel, and fearless fire is the last one in. Mighty giant number three, Zach Purton. He wins four for the day. Ricky U trains, private rocket, given every chance, was able to get out in time, but the winner's been too good. And third will go to beauty icon number 11. Puts the nose up right on the line. Knew exactly where that line was. It will be 3, 4, 11 and 8 on the last Mighty Giant. Six starts now for three wins and two seconds. Cruises down to the line.